Hey, what's going on everyone? So you probably clicked on this video if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist on PS4 or Xbox One and you want to know how to how to unlock all the cards that you need for your deck. How do I find these cards? What's the most efficient ways of going through the process of collecting the cards to build your basically dream deck that you usually use or just a new deck in general? So I'm going to go through the most efficient ways that I use to get the cards that you need. So alright, let's get into this. Alright, so first off, it's definitely recommended that you go into single player and complete all the campaigns from the various series before you try to unlock all the cards you need. So you want to go through the Yu-Gi-Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh GX, 5D, Zexo, Arc V, all those joints and complete all the story missions for them so that you can unlock this mode on the main menu called Duelist Challenges. Now this is the meat of where you unlock all the good, that good, good, good cards for your deck so you would just want to go into here so these are the challenge duelists are basically characters from the story mode except beefed up with new powerful decks that are kind of related to what their character in the story mode played so just take weevil for instance he plays an insector deck now that's very beefed up and stuff like that so that's where unlocking the cards comes into play so you want to find the person just by clicking on their character and look at the deck name so whatever cards you're looking for whatever archetype they fall under you want to look for the character that plays that deck so suppose you play in sectors so you're gonna go up to Weevil you see he plays in sectors you want to go and commence a duel with him and beat challenge duelist Weevil and you will actually get some of the cards that he uses in the duel and most of them will be in sector cards so you're unlocking in sector cards by playing this injector user so and after you beat the character their deck list slash recipe gets unlocked for you to look at all the cards they have so you want to go back into deck and then you want to go just click on an empty spot and then you want to uh, scroll down all the way so we're going to use injectors as an example so evil's deck got unlocked when I beat him so it's called the injector swarm so you get to see the Insector Swarm, the whole deck list of what he uses. So this is what the challenge mode Weevil uses. So any of the cards, if you see any cards you need in here, you might want to duel Weevil because those are in the pot, uh, the randomized pot of the cards you unlock when you beat him. So uh, say for instance, Gravekeepers from that dude we saw in the challenge duels. You need some Gravekeeper stuff, you play him. And then after you beat him, you double check the, in his deck list to see if he has some of the cards you want. You go back, you beat him, keep on beating him. It's all randomized, I think. So you're just going to keep unlocking these uh, cards for your archetype. Keep unlocking them. Even spells. It's not limited to just monsters. Spells, XYZs, uh, magic trap, all that good stuff. So now you want to go back to the last way of unlocking the cards you need. This is... I mean this is not really the most efficient way but you still need to do this regardless it's the actual card shop so you want to go into the card shop and actually uh, find out which character has what kind of packs so uh, suppose I go into crows and I open his packs you see that crow has a lot of naturia stuff he has a lot of black wing stuff and he has a lot of Miss Valley. I mean, there's Fable. I mean, Fable. There's a, there's Fable, Naturia, and Blackwing. And he also has some Nordic stuff. So once you see the archetype you want in a certain pack, most of the time you can just buy buy out a whole bunch of those packs, and you'll eventually get the card that you need from that specific pack because it's filled with black wings and stuff like that it's gonna take a long time because I put like 20 plus packs and I will finally get the card I need but it's still uh, an option if you actually need to go through with this but plus you get like eight cards per pack and you get some extra cards so I mean that's still good so that's really the most efficient ways to unlock the kind of cards you need just look in the challenge duelist deck see what kind of stuff they're playing if they're playing the cards that you need you duel them you win against them you unlock the cards that you want so thank you guys for watching if this if this helped you 
try it out if this helped you come back leave a comment say hey dude this worked leave a like it's much appreciated subscribe for more now nah, i was about to say naruto subscribe for more Yu Gi Oh content and i'm out of here guys peace